Hey friends. I seem to be rotating in my chair. This is an interesting phenomenon. I wonder if it's caused by the rotation of the earth. I, it's happening again. It stopped. Good. I had an interesting day. I went up to Santa Fe and got my MRI report for my scapholunate injury. If you don't know what a scapholunate injury is, you've clearly missed my last several posts. It's a ligament in your wrist. The report basically I mean, all but confirms what the hand specialist has already told me. Looks like that ligament's probably torn. You know, there's kind of maybe like a Hail Mary chance that like that wasn't the case, but, um, but anyway, I got that. And I observed something earlier this morning. You know, I've spoken on this post in the past about the effect of a full moon, of what happens. Uh, this is something that, that I first was clued into it by Sadhguru. I got, he talks about the effect of the full moon, and basically what he, the, the way he explains it the full moon doesn't do anything to your system that's not already happening. It simply enhances certain tendencies. It enhances moods that are already there. And... When I learned that, or when I, when, I, when I began to think of it that way, I also began to be able to feel the effect of a full moon to the point where I'm now relatively confident when I'm feeling a certain kind of energy in my system even if I've lost track of like where we are in the moon cycle, which happens all the time, I can go, like it happened this morning. I woke up, I felt a certain energy in my system. And I was like, this is a full moon, isn't it? And I, and I checked my app. Instead of just looking out the window, I checked my app. And sure enough, last night was a full moon. And I was discussing this with with uh, Katie a little while ago and talking about how you know, like how I what's going on there? On some level, I wish that the effect of the full moon were that I become even more serene, even more meditative, even more wakeful. That's not always the case. In fact, that has most of the time, I, there's a kind of 
anxious energy or like a heavy energy that I feel where I'm like, okay, this is the moon, what's going on? And the reason why I say I wish it were the other way, in addition to that sounding more pleasant, but, but it also indicates that this is what I'm running in the background frequently, right? If all the moon is doing is enhancing, then what I'm experiencing is just becoming more prominent, more visible to me. And I was, as I was discussing it with Katie, I was like, yeah, I wish it was, uh, I wish it wasn't. And then I, I wish I was, you know, I, I, I wish that the energy that were being enhanced were a light energy, a, a joyous energy, because that would indicate that that's what I'm cultivating. And, and the connection that I then made, I actually made it this morning as well, but the connection that I then made was this is it's an indulgence in fear ultimately. I'm allowing fear in. And while that's not a that's not that that's not in and of itself a good thing. It is a good thing to see. It is a good thing to be conscious of. So I kind of have to be thankful to the moon. I kind of have to look at the look at that experience of enhanced energy as an opportunity. I'm seeing something that's there. It doesn't solve the problem. But it does put me in a position to be more aware of the issue. And where I where it all where it takes me, you know, when I look at what's happening with this injury in my body and the kind of impact that that's having. You know, on some level, it's teaching me that life is for real. Right? Like life and death are for real. An injury that's that is essentially um, you know, there there I mean again, there are ways that this might be fixed. There are options out there. It's not clear that any of them are gonna be good paths for me. But, so what I'm dealing with is, a, is a, a change in the fundamental integrity of my physical body that I can't go back and undo, right? I can't go back and undo that injury. What that, the gift that that's giving me is that I'm aware of my own impermanence in a new way. Now, that doesn't always feel like a gift. 
in fact, I would say more often than not, I'm like, the gift? Are you kidding? Like, this is one I would be happy to give back. But I also know that on some level, I am being guided towards this is it is actually enhancing my life it's enhancing my consciousness and and i can see that you know i can already see that i already have evidence of that i just have a hard time staying in the state where i see it as a positive thing i still slip back into Seeing it as a, you know, something being taken away from me or something. Something that diminishes me or diminishes my life. But if I take my cue from the moon and I'm like, well, what energy are we going to cultivate? Are we going to let that, going to let that direction, going to let fear build momentum? Or there's another avenue of energy and it's right there. It's right here. It's like I can hop into that stream anytime. And the truth is, I was in the other stream before the injury. So maybe a wake up call is something that I was asking for, asking for. But certainly, seeing these two kind of energetic streams and realizing that they're, they're options either one there you know I and it's obviously not just two I'm just kind of like articulating two but what I hook my energy into is something I can choose and everything in my life is trying to help me choose light So, so why not? Why not choose it? Why not lean into that? That's where I'm at today. Taking my cue from the moon.
thanks for watching appreciate you have a great day i'll see you soon